What's going on guys, Josh here, and this is my Madden 15 Ultimate Team wishlist slash just really things I didn't like about Madden 25 Ultimate Team. And these things are not in any sort of order, I got about 5 eggs here, but not, not in any sort of order or importance or anything like that. I just thought about them and typed them and wrote them down in the little minimal list. And I hope you guys enjoy. So number one are the online rewards. And if you guys have been playing head to head seasons, you probably know that you get about 1k to at max 2k per game even with the double XP on and I think that's just way too many games you have to play. I think it should be around three or four games that you know you play enough games you'll get a pro pack and you can open you know and that's a little pro pack. That's how it's been and you know years past I think in Madden 12 you played you can play three games and you get a you know the premium gold premium pack which is one of the best packs in the game. So I think those online rewards need to be improved for you know the single game. I think the when they have double XP on and the, you're in the postseason and you get those postseason rewards, I think those are really good. They are really great. You know, the coin rewards pretty nice and you get some packs as well. But the single when you're in you know in your season and you're just playing, you're gonna 1k per game, you know, who wants 1k per game? Why get 1k per game when you just go in solo challenges, you know, play the CPU, win every game, clock every game so you you know make it super quick and you know you're getting 3k per game, 4k per game. There's just no incentive to play online because the rewards are not there. So I think those can be improved um, when they have double XP on, make them for the online season games too. So instead of getting one 2k per game, you're going, uh, you're getting 2k to 4k per game. I think those uh, rewards would be pretty nice. Number two, the collections. Collections, collections, collections have not been up to par compared to years past. Madden 12 collections are what made me want to play Madden 12, to be honest. It, they were so fun. And Madden 13, you know, they were really fun too. I think what EA, they're sort of scared about farming. And farming is just pretty much doing collections on multiple accounts because collection is so good. But they shouldn't, I'll, they shouldn't be worried about farming. If a collection is good, they should be making collections good because collections they make it fun for the user, you get get more coins, you get better rewards, and as well, they make packs better. One reason why packs are you know, not that good this year is because the collections, there's nothing to put in the collections uh, from the packs because they're, you know, they're not good. Better collections make better packs. So you have the option to just do a collection because, you know, the reward is so great. Or if you don't want to do a collection, you can just pull packs and you can just sell the cards that are in the collection, you know, they give the nice reward. So I think collections can definitely be better. Um, if not, if you know they can't make better collections like the Ray Lewis collection, I think the Ray Lewis collection is one of the best collections all year. Simply, simply because you're getting rewarded all the time. The coin packs, you know, you know the range, they were pretty nice. But if you can't do any collections, you know, any better collections for this year. Give us some happy hours. Good lord. We only had one happy hour this year. I'm pretty sure FIFA does them all the time. You know, maybe make a discount on the pro packs. Make them maybe 5k, 7.5k. 7, 7. Or, you know, just something, man. Pro or happy hours are definitely needed. Number three, and this is sort of a personal thing, is that there are no stats. The only stats that you see in Madden 25 are from the head to head seasons. And those are wins, losses. I think it shows your win streak and maybe something else I can't really remember but in Madden 13 you could see how many packs you pulled what your team value was you can actually see your team's lineup your friends lineup you could see how much your friends team was worth I think stats need to come back and even even in a bigger way than Madden 13 I think they should really go in depth on the stats um, maybe how many elites you pulled you know just stuff like that yo know, do you know Take what you had in Madden 13 and build on it. I think they can definitely improve in Madden 15 or 15 with that. Number four, and people have been asking about this for pretty much in every single Ultimate Team. This year it did get better. I will congratulate EA on that, but it's still not where it should be. And hopefully with the whole next gen thing, it being made pretty much for next gen, they can fix. You know, you still can't send something from your printing collection to the auction block, or you can't send something from your reserves to your pending collection or you can't send something from a trade block to your reserves you have to send it everything has to go through the actors and then to something else you should be able to send a card wherever you want 
at any time. If I don't have something on my trade block and I want to discard it, I shouldn't have to send it to my actives. You know, it shouldn't be that hard. Don't make things tedious for us. Make it simple and make it quick and effective. And number five, collectibles. Collectibles have been in almost every single promo this year. And you know, I'm okay with collectibles. I think they're fine. You know, puzzle pieces were cool last year. Um, to a certain extent, but when you're adding 1,024 collectibles into a promo and your reserves can barely hold 1,024 collectibles, you know, what the heck? Who thought of that? I just way too many collectibles this year in almost every single promo. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not hating on collectibles. I'm just saying that there have been way too many this year. You can't play with collectibles. They just sort of sit in your actives and you only can, you know, sell them trade them, um, put them in your collection, you know, you, you can't play with them, they're not players, so definitely need to cut down the collectibles for next year, and you know, stop doing them for this year, there's just been way too many, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, that's my five things that, you know, they should improve on, and things I just didn't like about this year, so hope you guys enjoyed, I'm out, peace.